Hello everyone, welcome to QU TV Sports. I'm Haley Oviet. A sophomore student at QU is one of a unique handful of students starting a new sport on campus. Jess Ladd is a biology major from Louisiana. Please join me in welcoming Jess to QU TV Sports. Hi Jess. Hello. So how long have you been bowling? I have been bowling for 13 years. Wow, that's a long time. Yes. So what made you come to QU? So after I made my bowling video to help me get views from different colleges. Someone from Hong Kong sent my video to Coach Nick and that is when he contacted me and that is when my adventure at Quincy University began. So is Coach Nick the bowling coach here? Yes. And do you like him? I do. He's a really nice guy but he can definitely put the pressure on when he needs to. He definitely knows how to make us a better team and how to work with our strengths. Did you have a dream school in mind when you sent out the video? I did not. I just knew I really wanted to bowl. Okay. So how do you prepare for a bowling match? First we do our dynamic stretching and then we may practice on the lanes for about 10 minutes and then we do a group meeting with coach, mm -hmm. just talking about different strategies, what we think we're gonna play. And then I have my own personal meeting with myself to try and figure out what my best advantage would be and how to play the best of my abilities for that day. Would you say that bowling is a stressful sport? It can be depending. So sometimes if you get in your own head, it's mm -hmm. hard to come back from it. But once you can, it can make you a little bit better than before. So you would say bowling is as stressful as every other sport? Absolutely. Okay. So when you go to practice before a game, how do you scout the other team? We look at them when they're practicing, seeing where they're putting the ball down, seeing how they're performing, because whatever they throw could potentially affect us and how we throw our balls. So watching them throw, can you tell if you're going to win this game or if you're going to lose this game? It depends because sometimes uh, things can happen that we can't expect, but normally if you watch closely to see what they're doing, you can potentially see what you need to do in order to win. Okay, so I've been bowling a couple times. I'm not great. How would you say, how would be the best way to get a strike or how would be the best way to take a team and win? You have to know what your balls are doing, um, what how you're playing that day so you can't just throw throw the ball down the lane and then hope for the best even though I've tried a couple times <laughs> um, you have to think about where you're putting it down and where you think it's going to end up for the best possible outcome so do you only bowl with one ball or do you have many others I have six bowling balls here with me and are they, do they all do a different job or are they just backups? They all do a different job. Some, they have a variety of strengths mm -hmm. and um, hooking abilities. Okay. Can you go in depth of what a hooking ability is? So when you hook a ball, people, with people who don't know how to bowl, they, it looks like it's spinning. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it makes like a sharp turn towards the pins. But with bowling, we call it a hook. Okay. Do you want to bowl professionally after college, or do you think after college that might be it? It depends. After college, I think it might be it, um, but I definitely still want to bowl after, maybe just not professionally. So maybe just for fun? Yes. That's amazing. I've tried bowling a couple times. I'm not great at it. Would you recommend teaching somebody how to bowl, or just hope for the best? You can teach. Um, I know our coach is trying to help us get our teaching certificates to try to help us um, learn how to bowl better and how to be better students, listeners, so it is possible. Well, that is amazing. Thank you for joining us. This has been a production of QUTV Sports. I'm Haley Oviet. Please join us next time and follow QUTV Sports on social media. Have a great day.